All right, everybody, math and Fortnite. Does it get any better than this? Let's check it out. Hi, everybody, and today we're looking at Fortnite. Yes, we're looking at the very popular Fortnite, and we are combining it with math. And specifically, we are going to be looking at solving linear word problems with a focus on interpreting. So this is where it is at. So we're looking at interpreting. So let's get right to it, shall we? So this is the focus. We're going to be looking at interpreting our linear equations. And here is the example that we are going to be using the entire time. And we're going to say Johnny. He played Fortnite, and you know, he loves Fortnite. He plays Fortnite when he's not doing his math. Uh, he played it for 18 minutes. Yep, just a quick, a quick little session, so for 18 minutes. And in those 18 minutes, you know what happened? He went crazy. He got 24 kills. I know what you're thinking, wow and got 24 kills. Now, he took a break, because you know you gotta take a little break after that. So he took a break, maybe he did some math, and after his break, he took a break, then played for an hour. Played for an hour, but this time, you know, he wasn't doing as good, though, this time. Um, instead, he only got 10 kills. Oop, and he got 10 kills. So this is the problem that we are going to be looking at, and we're specifically going to be looking at the following. We are going to interpret the slope. We are going to interpret the intercepts. So we're looking at the intercepts of um, x and y. And you know what? We could also probably uh, make some predictions. Because that's the great thing. With a linear equation, you can make predictions. So without further ado, let's go and take a look at what's going to happen. So we want to find two coordinate pairs. But maybe even before we want to find the two coordinate pairs, let's go and figure out um, what your x is going to be and what your y is going to be. So remember, x and y, the x is always going to be your independent variable, so a little bit of science. So x is your independent variable, and of course y is your dependent. So as you're playing Fortnite, what is dependent on to get kills? Well, time playing is dependent. So we're going to say, for our variables, the independent is going to be time. And of course, the um, dependent is going to be the number of kills. If we bring back the, the question, you guys are hunting to make this coordinate pair. So you guys are hunting for them. So let's go and take a look at this question again. The very first coordinate pair is going to be the 18 minutes and you got 24 kills. That's the first one. So for this one, the 18 minutes and 24 kills, what we can go and say is our first coordinate pair would be, so if you did 18 minutes, so the x, so 18 minutes and he got 24 kills. Okay, that's our first coordinate pair. Our next one though, we're still looking at this, is right here. He played for an hour and he got 10 kills. Now the hour is always tricky, right? Now teachers are doing this on purpose. Uh, they're doing this on purpose because they want you to think one for an hour, but we gotta keep it in minutes. So let's keep it in minutes. Maybe I'll make this still. Oops, let's go there. So an hour is 60 minutes. And how many kills did he get again? How many kills did he get? Oh, he got 10 kills. And he got 10 kills. So step one is simply going and 
finding the two coordinates. Step two, so step two is to, oops, is find your slope. So we're going to find our slope now that we have that. And remember, we have our two coordinates. So I'm going to call this um, x1. I'm, just gonna, I'm going to change it up a little. Yeah, sure. x1, y1. And this is going to be your x2 and y2. And if you need to go and take a look at how to do this, look at other videos about finding slope. But we're going to go and find slope. So we're going to use that cool equation, y2 minus y1 oops, um, over x2 minus x1. So we're going to go and do that. And if you go and plug stuff in, what do we get? We get 10 uh, minus 24 over uh, 60 minus 18. 60 minus 18. Like that. And if we kind of go and simplify things there, we're going to get, so what's that going to be? Negative 14 over 42. And I think if we simplify that even more, it's going to be negative 1 third. Cool. So we found our slope. Yay! We got our slope. There's our slope. And um, the next one, so step three, is we want to find B. And B is our Y intercept. So this is going to be pretty important. So we've got to go and find B. Let's get a nice, clean, fresh um, page right now. And, and we're going to use the 18 and the 24. So we're going to use the, the point 18 and 24. So we're going to use the point 18 and 24. And we're also going to be using M, which we just found, being a third. And we're going to go and basically plug those things into this equation y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept form. We're going to do that, and we're going to solve for that b, that y-intercept. So I'm going to go and plug these things in. So what was y? Remember, this is, this is x, and this is y. So your y was 24. Your x was uh, 18. And then you had negative 1 third. So let's go and solve this. So 24 equals, what's negative 1 third times 18? I think it's negative 6, I think, uh, plus b. Now we're going to go and do our little math. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. Love math. Almost as much as I love Fortnite. Here we go. So now B is going to be equal to 30. So we have our B, and we still have our M. Don't forget we have our M. So our next step, what step are we on now? I keep forgetting what step are we on. Or step 4 now. So step 4 is write the equation. So this was all about creating the equation. Write an equation, and we're, we're talking about uh, slope-intercept form for right now. So, so y equals mx plus b. So remember, all we have to do is figure out what our m was. So our m was uh, negative 1 third. So x, there we go, plus uh, what was our b? And our b was 30. So that's the equation we're going to be using for the next part. And the next part is the really awesome stuff. So let's go and take a look at our, our next stuff now. And you might have already noticed something that's going to be kind of weird. It's going to cause an uproar. I know it's going to. So here we go. So we're going to go step five. And step five. Step five and six are, are really the the key now. It's going to be interpreting the slope. So the interpreting the slope, uh, we're going to be doing this right now. So we're interpreting the slope, and let's just bring back our equation. So our equation was y equals negative one third x plus thirty. So our slope is negative. Uh, 1 over 3. So I'm going to show it like this. So negative 1 over 3. Oops, negative 1 over 3. Negative 1 over 3. We have to remember, when we're talking about slope, we're talking about the rise and the run. And we're talking about the rise and the run. We're also talking about the rise, which is your y, and your run, which is your x. And we said the rise, of course, is going to be 
your kills. So these are your kills. And this is your time. When you're interpreting slope, you must use the axis names, so that's kill and times, with the numbers. Okay, so we must be using these words with these numbers. So what sentence could we write? And let's put it into real life things. So we have time and we have kills. So we will say every three minutes Johnny loses a kill. And you're like, what? That makes no sense. In Fortnite, you, you get kills. You don't lose kills. Well, this is just math, everybody. So calm down over there. It's okay. This is what the math is saying. For every three minutes that Johnny plays, he loses a kill. He gets a negative kill. I don't know. Maybe it's a hack in a game. Maybe it's a glitch. I don't know. Just go with it. So every three minutes, Johnny loses a kill. That would be a absolutely perfect interpreting the slope. Now, the next step is going to be looking at, so step six. So step six is interpreting the y-intercepts and the x-intercepts. So interpreting, oops, so interpreting the intercepts. Now, for that, I always say use standard form. because it's going to make your life easier. So remember our equation was y equals negative 1 third x plus 30. We're going to convert that into standard form because right now this is called slope intercept form. So slope intercept. So we're going to go and just change this. So we're going to change this. Ooh. How are we going to change it? Well, remember our, our standard form, so standard form, don't forget, is ax plus by equals c. Let's go and convert that. All I'm going to go and do is I'm going to add a third x to both sides. So I'm going to add a third x to both sides. And then voila, we're in standard form. So standard form, we're almost in standard form. So it's uh, one third x plus y. Um, equals 30. We, to be fully in standard form, we got to have integers as our constants here. So we got to get rid of that one third. So how are we going to go and do that? How do we get one, rid of one third? I'm going to multiply everything by three. Like that. And then my final, my final, 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 I'll use happy, is going to be uh, x plus 3y equals 90. So x plus 3y equals 90. And then we can start doing some really, really cool things with that. So once we have that, now we can start going and saying some things for our intercepts. So for our x intercept, remember for x intercept, you let y be 0. So you'd have basically x plus 3 times 0 equals 90. So x would equal 90. That's pretty easy. And then our y-intercept, you let x be 0. So you'd have you know, 0 plus 3y equals 90. So y would just equal 30. So we have our intercepts now. And let's just go, so intercept of 90 for x and uh, y is 30. Let's just go and just graph that so I can easily show you what that's going to look like. I think that'll be very helpful. So our x intercept is 90. So remember our, our x intercept was 90. 
so 90 comma 0. And our y-intercept was 30. Oops. Uh, 0 comma 30. And don't forget, our, our original equation was y equals negative 1 third x plus 30. Because you might be saying, look, we already know what the y-intercept is. It's right there. It's b. And you're absolutely correct. So here we go. And this would be pretty neat. So we're going to start here. Remember, this is your y. This is your x. So this is 30. And you're going to find over here, which is going to be 90. And you draw a line. Remember, this is Johnny playing Fortnite. Now looking at this, remember, what was x? x was time. And y was kills. Now this is weird. So if we're interpreting the intercepts, so for the um, x, let's just do the y. Let's do the y intercept first. So we have to interpret it. What does it mean? Again, you need to use the word on the axes and the number. So this is time zero. So what is time zero? At the start of the game. So at the start of the game. He, Johnny, has 30 kills. Right at the start. He already has 30. Woohoo! I know. It doesn't happen. But just go with it. But for the x-intercept, again, you must use time, the word time. And you must use kind of the topic of it in the number. And you would say after 90, so there's that number, minutes. That's the label of the axes. After 90 minutes, he would have zero kills. He would lose them all. He would lose all his kills. Lose all his kills. Now I know, you're, you're, like the longer you play, he's he, it's you're losing your kills. It's Fortnite. I don't understand. Maybe there's a glitch in the game, and every time you kill somebody, actually you lose a point. Uh, who knows? Just go with it. That's what the math is saying. If you feel frustrated, you can leave a comment below. That's okay. So this would be called um, interpreting a linear equation, looking at interpreting the slope and interpreting the x and y intercepts. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, thanks everybody for tuning in to another edition of Math with the Math Jedi. Until next time, go play Fortnite, do some math, have a great day.